Welcome back to the show. Time for a little 814 Eats. I think Mr. Pat Romano Jr. has moved into our kitchen with this <laughs> spread. You are in from the We Are In um, in Phillipsburg. Thanks so much for stopping by. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Uh, we brought several different things to show we you did. guys. Um, you know, from the meatball dinners that we have, which is a pasta dinner, we have uh, fettuccine Alfredo Yum. with chicken, grilled chicken. Here's one of our takeout dishes. Uh, you can see the Tupperware type of yeah. product that we use because it's better than the styrofoam. You don't get anything dropped all over you know, your car when you're bringing it. And uh, yeah. we just have so much stuff. You do. But you wanted to talk about the haddock? You talked about this as a special, and yeah. I love this, especially with Lent right now. Yeah, sure. Um, and you said you're watching your figure a little bit, so yeah. you've got great hey, items. Last time I was here, I could hardly button this. There you go. 20, That's an 24 accomplishment. 24 pounds. Yeah. So how did you do it? So with the keto diet, what you're really trying to do is get fat adapted, which means you're eating fats, which trains your body to burn fats instead of carbs and sugar. So when you're doing stuff like that, you can still have things like bacon, fish, yeah. chicken, all these different things that are proteins, but what you're cutting out is the breads and the pastas, all this okay. stuff up here. But we have plenty of other stuff. So the Parmesan crusted haddock is a great dish because it's got your butters and oils to give you some of those mm -hmm. fats to go with the protein that's in it. And the Parmesan cheese is also fats. And we do asparagus with it, and that's got melted mozzarella over it, and it's just amazing. Um, you can have your salads with it, and like I know you love our Caesar salad. I'm obsessed. The Caesar yeah. dressing. You said people come and buy that by the tub. Wow, well, they buy it by do the tub. Do you court have that around? Time. Can we I, show? I do. I'll mix some up. Oh. But uh, we we do that by the um, court. We sell it. And one of the things with that, there's a thing in keto called a fat bomb. Mm -hmm. So if you ate too much steak or too much fish, then you're way ahead on your proteins for the numbers you're supposed to do. So what you want to do is ingest some fats. Okay. And the, it's delicious, and it's got 14 grams of fat. 130 calories per tablespoon and you just mix it in there and it gets you caught back up really quick and helps you start burning fat faster. I just love that even though you're cutting out carbs, which is hard to uh, accept, you still are bringing the flavor. Oh yeah. 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 You, well that, that's the thing is that carbs are like, you're, we're, we're addicted to carbs in yeah. our society and sugars, but when you have a great tasting meal, it'll keep you away from that stuff, especially when there's garlic in it because the garlic's going to stay with you for a while and you're going to be tasting the garlic so you're not going to get as hungry later on. And I love that because, you know, it's just, and you should probably carry a bottle of Listerine or some gum with you as yeah. well if you have a meeting to go to. I remember that from last time. But, man, just the smell, it's so fragrant. And uh, just your whole entire menu, you've got just so much selection. You even said you're going to be doing Rubens here because you've got so much corned beef yeah. uh, left over, which There was we a mix-up in our orders, and we ended up with an extra 100 pounds of corned beef. So we're going to take the brisket, and we're just going to start making Rubens for a while. Why not? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> well, hey, can I dig into this? Absolutely. Grab a little bit? All right. Yes. Why not? So uh, you got a few other things cooking too, um, but tell everybody about where you're located, and people can actually stay with you and um, do some pretty fun things too while they're at it. Absolutely, we're located on 322 in Phillipsburg, and you could come into town. I mean, we have side by side riding. There's a park across the street for the kids. We have the motel as well with 16 mm -hmm. rooms. Um, we have the bar and restaurant, and we just got voted um, mm -hmm. the number one game day restaurant in Center County which was pretty amazing, That's amazing. for us because uh, it's just humbling. It really is. But we have a lot of people to come by. We have former players. We have NFL, former NFL guys. It's just, mm. it's a wonderful thing that's going on there. The excitement's amazing. The support's amazing. So tasty. People have got to come stop by. We have a full-on bar, too. Yes. So it's everything when they stop by. Yes. We are in. And you do event planning? Yep. We All do kinds of things like that. Tailgates, everything. Have you been pretty busy for uh, Lent? Yeah, we've been busy. Yeah. We, we go through more haddock and codfish than uh, I've seen in a long time. I mean, at Fridays, it's a big thing, mm -hmm. you know. And, yeah, uh, you cater to everybody. You said, you know, especially with the, the diets, too, you can do the salmon, the chicken, the shrimp, yep. scallops. Like, there's so many different varieties and things that you offer. Sure. It's such a big sure. menu. And it's really neat because you remember the tomahawk? Yeah. There's, it was not uncommon to walk out. Somebody sitting having a tomahawk, the person sitting with them is having a salad. Yeah, right? People <laughs> you know, were Caesar talking to me about that. Forever. <laughs> you could have everything. Somebody else might have a cheesesteak oh. or a hoagie. It's wonderful. Well, we are excited because you're actually going to stick around. Rebecca's going to do the next segment because, hey, yep. she's a Philly girl. She knows all about that. So uh, you're going to be whipping up some Philly cheesesteaks yep. and hoagies. We've that, got that coming up, too. But first, we're going to get a check on our uh, weather with our chief meteorologist, Joe Murko. Hey, Joe. Hi there, Morgan. And uh, today, a beautiful day. 